Mind my own business. Try me, Gina. I just hate to see the way that Santana... No, I shouldn't have come... Wait a second. My curiosity's killing me now. You just hate to see the way Santana is what? Look, Cruz, I know how you feel about me. But I remember that you stood up to Cece for me once. And I'll never forget that. I admire you for it. And I admire you for giving up Eden, even after she divorced Kirk. I know how hard that must have been for you. That's why I feel so terrible about her making a fool of you behind your back. I see. So it was you who called me the other night and told me where to go look for Santana. Yes. That's right, I did. I thought you had a right to know about the relationship she's having. Listen, I think maybe you ought to hit the road now. I got a dinner date and I don't want to be late. Wait a minute. You don't believe me? I'm telling you the truth. Why would I make something like this up? I know how much you'd hate the person that would tell you this. I almost didn't tell you. You know, I know it's in your nature to indulge in this particular kind of community service. But I suggest you bury your nose in your own life for a change. Because my life with Santana is off limits to you. You got that? That's where you're wrong, Cruz. You see, as long as you have custody of Brandon along with Santana, everything the two of you do is my business. Aren't you worried about Brandon, how, how Santana's playing around might affect him? That's just a, I, I don't want to hear another word out of you. No, get out of here. Look, Cruz, I, I, I'm sorry I've upset you. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. But I'm telling you the truth. And I think you believe me or you wouldn't be so angry. Good night, Gina. Here you go, Jimmy. All right. Smells delicious. Of course it does. Though it was a good thing you were able to pull some strings with the owner of this place. If he hadn't let me use the kitchen here, I don't know what I would have done. I don't normally cater parties on the public beach. It was really nice of you to do this for me. Thanks, Jim. Eden. Eden, how long have we known each other? No, don't no. <laughs> mind me. I won't. Oh, listen, when we get done here, would you mind taking me back to town? I have a better idea. Come with me to the new club in Montecito. It's the opening. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Eden, it's going to be wild. Where's your spirit? That's a good question. All right, okay, I'll come with you, but I want to change first, okay? Fabulous. Okay. Look, why don't we go now? I think Jimmy can take it from here. Okay. I'll just go check on the table and make sure everything's okay. All right. <laughs> well? Well what? Perfect, baby. The whole thing is perfect. <laughs> uh... Thank you for your help. Oh, you're hey. welcome. Is Mom having a good time? I think so. No, I know so. I am too. Maybe tonight would be the good time to tell her you know about the surgery. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know if your mother and I are ready to really get into that yet. You know, I can't help but thinking that maybe you're not doing this for Mama, but you're doing it for yourself. Meaning what? Meaning that maybe it's easier for you to think that you're just being nice to her. You know, I seem to remember a daughter of mine reprimanding me for um, being too nosy about her private life, and I've done my best to butt out. Do you think you can return the favor? Look, it's all right. I'm not really angry with you. It's just that I, I can't be with you the way that I want to be with you. I always ruin everything. I don't blame you for preferring someone else's company. Thanks for waiting for me here. Oh, that's okay, sweetie. Oh, listen, while you were home, there was a phone call for you here. Who was it? A security guard from the Capwell offices. What do you want? He said it was your brother. What, what, Ted? No, Mason. Apparently, he let himself into the record archives. So it seems Mr. Security is feeling a little bit insecure. <sighs> he wanted to check with you to see if it was all legit. That's odd. So is your brother. <sighs> Haven't you noticed? <laughs> Oh, wait a second. That's all I do is wait. I've waited long enough. I need some air. All right, I'll, let's take a walk. No, no, don't. I, I'd rather be alone. Don't go after her. Excuse me? You heard what I said. I Gina, said don't go after do you her. Want, would you please get out of my way? You're only going to be hurting yourself, Cruz. Please. 
Ruth, I know where she's going. And you don't want to be there. Splitting me and Santana up, you'll have another shot at Brandon. You should save the strain on your brain, because it's not going to work. That's not what's going on here, Cruz. I realize that Santana would retain custody of Brandon as long as she's a fit mother. I know that. Then what is going on here? Why do you persist in butting into what is obviously none of your business? I just think it's terrible to watch you look the other way while your wife throws herself at some other man. Uh, Gina, do you think you can keep it down? I think the whole restaurant knows how you feel about Santana. Right. And you haven't seen Santana come in here with a certain gentleman. Time after time. Not once, twice, but over and over again. Look, if you're talking about Keith Timmons, I don't know what the big deal is. They're how old high school friends. Since when do old high school friends meet at closed snack bars down on the beach at night? That's where Keith Timmons is waiting for Santana right now. And I bet you that's where she's on her way to. You know, I got better things to do than run around checking up on my wife's every move. I feel sorry for you, Cruz. And for you, too. Well, I'm grateful to you both for keeping me out of prison. I, I'm trying to do you a favor here. When are you guys going to realize that you two are obviously meant for each other, and you spend all your time being goody-goody for Santana's sake? When are you going to wake up and realize that your noble sacrifices are all going for nothing? Santana doesn't care what the two of you do together. The only thing she cares about is what she's got, and that's Brandon. All right, don't listen to me. At least I tried. Sorry. Oh, no, I, um, I'm sorry for butting in. She's, uh, too much, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is. Well, I guess, uh... I'm, I gotta go. Yeah, so... Well, ready to go to Montecito now? Yeah. Hey, listen, do you mind if we make a small stop first? <laughs>